Today we are at the underground cookery school doing a Dr. Erka pizza masterclass. With simple ingredients you can elevate these pizzas and you can add more value to it and the perceived value to it and it works across all sectors so they can do whatever they would like to do with it. It was nice to hear from the chef about all the different combinations of flavours you can use. You know, you go from a starter to a main to a dessert or we even offered breakfast pizzas when we came in. It kind of opened your mind into all the possibilities that you can have with just starting from a pizza base. It was eye-opening. The cook time of the Dr. Aka Perfectissima range is really fast, speedy. Cook time's really good and easier for the person in the restaurant that's cooking. They come with either plain or with tomato sauce on them. They also have some toppings as well, but you can put your own toppings. And you literally put them in the oven for, I think it was four minutes. And that's it, they're ready. The aesthetics of the pizza are impressive. They're stone-baked in production, and they're also prepared by hand. They're stretched by hand. And it kind of gives it that authentic, rustic feel that allows operators to sell it as a premium item. It's quite cool seeing it as a dessert option. We tried a really amazing apple crumble version, which was the Delicious, bit of a fan favourite, I think. Yeah, I tried the sweet one, the apple crumble. Delicious. Well, I'll come around with you and that, but you know, you can just start to create pizzas as you want to create them, and then we'll taste test them and see what you think about it. So choosing the toppings was probably the most difficult part for me. <laughs> it was a bit overwhelming, so many different choices. I was looking through the different options and I saw a jar of mango chutney. A dish I had in mind was mango and chicken, the kind of combination of salty and sweet. Blackberries, honey, asparagus, onions, sprinkles of nuts and things. I think there's some real colourful creations going on out there and some interesting textures and sweetness and it'd be interesting to see what they taste like in the end, yeah.